Hi everyone, I'm Tina Martin, a math professor at CSN, and I'm going to show you how to integrate my open math into Canvas. So, I have two windows open. You can have two tabs on your computer, whatever works for you. On the left is my Canvas course that I want to import into, and on the right is my open math. First step is to go into my open math and locate the shell or the course that you want to copy. So, I'm going to copy my Math 95 shell. Along these tabs here on the left in the My Open Math course, I see this Course Items tab, and underneath it, I'm going to click on Export. The first step is to export a cartridge from My Open Math that I can then upload into Canvas. I'm going to export my entire course into Canvas. If I have My Open Math gradebooks and dates set up, then I want to make sure those two boxes are included. I definitely want to check this box here to allow Canvas to set my open math due dates in case you need to change anything. And then I'm going to click Download Export Cartridge. It's going to download it to my computer. And so now I've exported the package from my open math and it's time to upload it into Canvas. So let's go back to our Canvas course. And in the left toolbar right here, we want to find the very bottom item, which is settings. We click on settings and this is where it allows us to import our course content. So if we look here on the items, we're going to scroll to import course content and we're going to specifically import a Canvas course export package. I'm going to choose that file that I just downloaded to my computer and I'm going to open it. I'm going to import all content and I'm going to click import. Now it's going to be queued and it's going to start running. It might take a little bit depending on the traffic that's going on on your Canvas shell. So my course is finished loading. I have an issue that I need to take care of. So I'm going to go back over to settings here on the bottom left once again. And this time I'm going to go to the top and I'm going to click on the tab called Apps. Now that we've imported our cartridge, the next step is to get My Open Math installed on the Canvas shell. So you can scroll down and search for My Open Math, or you can filter by name. So I'm going to type in My Open Math, and up comes My Open Math. So you're going to click on that, and you're going to have to add the app. So we're going to add this to our Canvas. And right away, it asks for a consumer key and shared secret. Those two items were supplied to us in My Open Math. So if we go back over into My Open Math where we exported our cartridge, you'll see there's a key and a secret. You want to copy this key. And if you happen to be taking a picture of it or writing it down, that's actually a capital L, capital T, capital I. But I'm just going to copy and paste, okay? And I'm also going to copy and paste my secret. And I'm going to click Add App. Just about done. I have to do one thing, and that is I have to configure this app to make sure it's correct. So before I leave this site, I'm going to go right here and click on View App Configurations. When I do, it's going to list all these apps, and I want to scroll down until I find my open math. Now, notice I have two instances of my open math. One of these instances is actually a fake account. So if you look at the gear and click Edit, you see that this account is actually a fake account. We need to cancel that or delete it. So I'm going to exit and go back here, and I'm going to say, okay, that's a fake account. So clicking on the gear symbol again, I'm going to hit delete. That's going to delete that fake account. 
Let me make sure, so I'm going to click on the gear symbol of the remaining my open map. And yep, this key is my consumer key that matches the original, so I know this one's the good one. And so now this one's gonna stay. I've now configured my apps, and now I'm ready to actually go and link the Canvas course back into my open math so that the grades and everything transfer back and forth. So I need to go now this time over here, look for modules, because I want to search for one of those assignments that links to my open math. And I'm going to scroll down until I find an assignment that I know links into my open math. All of these are assignments right here with the paper and the pencil that I know link into my open math. So I'm just going to click on the video lesson here. And when I do, it gives me instructions that my LMS is not yet associated with a course on my open math. Now I want to pause here and say that Notice my son needs a hug, so I'm going to have to go take care of that in a minute. Um, but in any case, I don't know if you saw that little text come up, but <laughs> in any case, um, some people right now, if your computer hasn't been set up already to go into my open math, you might get right here at this point uh, two, two lines that you need to fill out, which is your ID for my open math, your course ID, excuse me, the ID that you use to log into my open math, as well as the password. So if this screen doesn't come up for you, what the computer's asking for is your login to my open math and your password. Once you input that, then you should get this screen right here. I wanna make sure, what I like to do is I like to create a copy right here, create a copy of this course on my open math. What that will do is pair this specific section in Canvas to a new course in my open math. So I'm gonna create a copy. And then I'm going to hit continue. If everything's done correctly, you will see the video lesson pop up. And just a note, so if I click start, it's as if I was viewing it as a student. Your first slide on the videos is a video and textbook links. The way you proceed forward to see the questions is with this little arrow here. And if you scroll through, these are the questions that students answer. They can submit. So just type something in. And we submit. And now you try your next question. So you can try a next question if you get it wrong. Then it says, oops, do you want to try a similar question? So you can go through. The one thing is students do not want to use the bottom buttons. Those actually will go to the next assignment in Canvas. So when they're actually navigating through a lesson, you want to tell them to stay on focus right up here at the top with all the My Open Math stuff. When you're done, you can click Done, and it gives them a, uh, a summary of what they've completed. All right, so I'll go back to my home. That's, that's it. That's all there is to it. If you go back to my open math, you will see that a new shell has been created that links to this Canvas course, but you should be set to go. Now is when you go into your gradebook here in Canvas and your assignments and you set the new due dates to meet your needs. Well, good luck, everyone. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me. Um, Christina.martin at csn.edu. Have a great evening and a wonderful semester.